Well, this total solar eclipse was the first one in nearly 100 years to cover the continental U.S. We won't see another one like it in Denver until 2045. We have team coverage for you on the big event. Want to start with Chris Spears, who had one of the best views anywhere with the Mobile Weather Lab in Casper, Wyoming. So, Chris, what was totality like? Oh, Jim, that's a tough question. It's hard to find one word. It triggered a lot of emotions, and that was what I was told uh, would happen as we saw the eclipse. And in fact, those emotions even begin before you get into totality. The anticipation was off the chart. People set up cameras and telescopes hours in advance. Well, right now you can still see a few sunspots. For a once in a lifetime experience. You can actually see the progress as it's moving across the surface of the sun. That lasted less than three minutes. Watching day turn to night and feeling the temperature drop, the moon's shadow covered the sun, causing an amazing display of light. Your senses almost became overwhelmed during the 146 seconds of totality, from the sun's corona to a 360 degree sunset on the horizon. There was so much to see. What is this like? Is this not crazy? In what felt like the blink of an eye, it was suddenly all over and daylight returned within minutes. Like the, the way the light was um, so strange, there was, it was, it, there's nothing to compare it. And I would describe myself as a compassionate guy, Jim and Karen, but I am not emotional. I don't cry. And during that live Facebook, when we started the totality, I was this close to losing it. In fact, my voice cracked. It is an incredible <laughs> experience. You must put this on your bucket list and see one in your lifetime. 2045, we've already <laughs> marked it down. Chris, thanks so much, my friend. Well, 